All right, guys, today's video is going to be part of a series on dust collection. Today, I'm going to discuss blast gates. Um, there's two types of gates that I'm going to mention today, ABS gates and cast aluminum gates. Uh, to me, neither one of the gates is perfect. Uh, I'm going to be using cast aluminum gates in my system, but there are things that I feel that need to be done to them to make them better. So in this video, which is probably going to be about half an hour long, I'm going to make measurements of the system because there's flaws in the gates. I'm going to make measurements in the system with uh, an anemometer. I'm going to make the upgrades to the gates and then we're going to measure again and see if it worked. The reason I want to do this is because it's simple, it's a quick fix, and it's something that I think everyone can benefit from. So what I like to do is when I do things, I'd, I'd like to shoot video and actually show with measurements why I'm doing what I'm doing. So let's get to it. All right guys, let's discuss these blast gates. Here I've got an ABS blast gate, just a four inch and a four inch cast aluminum blast gate. Uh, both of these came from the same place I got at Woodcraft, um, but there are differences in them. This guy, a, a basic four inch ABS gate is gonna run you seven bucks. This guy with the hose connection cost me $11 and change. Um, a four inch cast iron or cast aluminum blast gate is going to run you $15 or so. So let's look at the differences between the two. Is this better for twice the price? So if we look at this ABS gate, first thing you'll see is it's closed here, whereas the aluminum one is open. You can see my fingers through there on the the ABS gate you can't see anything it's sealed off so what that means is as you open and close this gate if it's open remember all your dust is traveling through here any of it that gets lodged in this recessed area where the gate opens and closes is just going to get compacted every time you open and close this gate so you open it you allow the dust in you close it and you're just packing it in there what happens with that is eventually your gate doesn't fully close. You end up with something like this. And anytime you have that, you're going to have a leak in your system. As you close this gate and you're using another machine, you constantly have a leak right here at whatever machine this is connected to. So these guys, for $7, they're not bad. They don't leak until you get to a point where that there's crud crammed in there. So if you don't mind having to go in and clean every once in a while, these are fine. If we move over to this aluminum gate, the aluminum gate, you'll see there's a thumb screw here. There's a piece of stamped metal for the gate itself. If I shake this, it's noisy. It makes a lot of noise because it's a loose fit. So if I close this, you'll see that right here there is a dimple Let me get this close to the camera so you guys can see that dimple right there what that does is as you close the gate that dimple will come up and hit right here on the the gate opening and as it does that it pushes the gate up and it seals the gate against this top surface so on the other side, there's a thumb screw. And as you tighten that, it seals against this top surface. So if you've got this connected to a machine and you don't want to use that machine anymore, you push that gate closed, tighten the thumb screw, and all of a sudden the gate is pushed up against the body of the gate and it's sealed off. If you install this upside down, which a lot of people will be tempted to do. Sorry for being in the camera. A lot of people will be tempted to install it upside down because at that point you just walk up, hook your finger, open and close the gate. If you do that, you've now created a leak. Everything is going to leak because instead of having the seal on the suction side of your system, the seal is now on the tool side. So there is a leak right here, sorry, there's a leak right here. 
So the aluminum gates, it's always best to install them with the dimple down because that's going to push the gate up and seal it and with the thumb screw down. So pretty simple four inch blast gate. One issue these, th these have is as I open this, so the gates open, I'm using the tool. If you look through here, you can see my finger, right? That is a leak. So anytime the gate is open and you're using the machine, you have a constant leak right here. And that is not something that's good for overall dust collection. So four inch plastic, four inch cast aluminum, now let's talk about this next guy. This is a six inch cast aluminum glass gate. I picked this guy up on Amazon and I believe it was sold under the Powertech brand. So let's set this ABS aside. Let's look at the two of these guys. We've got thumb screw on the bottom. We've got our little handle on the, the gate itself up top. Now if I tighten a thumb screw on this guy, as I said before, it's going to seal just like the other one. You can see light through that one because the gate's pushed up and you can't really see, there's a little bit of light through this one that you can see right there. Now, let's look at this gate. On the four inch, we've got our dimple down. You can see that the dimple's down as the gate opens and closes, it pushes up and it seals. Well, on the six inch, the dimple is up. So as I close it, it pushes the gate down in the body and there's a leak there. This should be closed. This should be sealed just like the four inch. It should be sealed right now. Instead, it's a leak. So easy way to fix that is just loosen the screws loosen that flip it reinstall it tighten the screws down Now when I close that gate, I close that gate, it's pushed up to the top. I tighten the thumb screw, it's pushed up to the top. And I do not have a leak in the system when I have the gate closed. Just like with the four inch though, when I have the gate open, I have a massive leak right here. So Let's say on this table saw that I have here on this saw stop, I have this overarm dust collection. So there's a four inch gate here. And then I have the cabinet. There's a four inch gate there. Each of these is going to leak when that gate is open. So that's something that needs to be addressed. Okay, so now that we're back at the dust collection system, we've got our pipe installed, our gate is installed to the machine, and I'm just running a test pipe down here for now. What I want to show you is how much of an issue this little opening is and how much of a leak it will cause you when you have that gate open. So since this is easy accessible, I'm just going to have this open. We've got the gate open. We are set to 0.87 cubic feet. That is for the area of a four inch circle. So we go back to function and we're going to go to cubic feet a minute. Now let's turn the system on and we'll make our measurement. <laughs> Thank you. 
So as you can see, 21, 22, 23 cubic feet a minute is quite a bit of a leak. Um, that you may not think that is a big deal, but if you're running something like this table saw, where you have a connection at the cabinet and you have the overarm dust collection, you're running two separate four inch lines off of the system. If each one of those is leaking 23 cubic feet a minute, you've lost 50 cubic feet a minute of capacity on your system. So it's a simple fix, let's get to that. Okay, so to fix this leak that we have here at the back of this gate, there's two things we're gonna use. Just some scrap cardboard, some cardstock, and some HVAC tape. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off a piece of this cardboard here. Doesn't have to be perfect, nothing special we're doing. We're just cutting off a piece here. I'm going to go ahead and square off this end. And let's get our length sorted. And that should be fine. Can't hold on to anything. It's almost like they make an actual knife that holds these blades. So now we're going to take our HVAC tape, and I'm just going to go ahead and square that off. And come down here. So this HVAC tape, what we're going to do is we're going to stick it on this uh, piece of cardboard, and then we're going to stick it on the body of the gate itself. What that's going to do is give us a flap where that we can open and close the gate. And when we open the gate and turn the dust collector on, the suction of the dust collector is going to pull this gate, the, this flap on the back of the gate closed. When we close the gate, any dust or debris that may be in there, which it's not going to, um, any dust or debris that may be in there is just going to get pushed out the back side. So we're not putting ourselves in a situation where that we're getting debris that's going to get jammed in there like you would with a plastic gate. We're just making a piece that is going to allow this gate to work and not leak every time we want to use it. So. That really is as difficult of a process as this is. Let's go ahead and trim this end off here. Same thing on the other end. So I don't know, what did it take? A minute, two minutes? And we've got a flap there. So as this is open, this is going to get sucked closed push it open. If there's anything that's in there, it's going to get pushed out. So that is one thing we can do to improve. The next thing, remember how we talked about how loose this fits. This pipe does not fit tightly. So we're going to go ahead and address that. Okay, next thing we're going to do is get this pipe to seal to this gate. I talked about how this is a loose fit to the gate. And as you can see, if I lift the pipe up, the gate just stays in place. So what we're gonna do is use a product, I'm using this because I have it. This is Hush Mats Quiet Tape. And all it is is a roll of foam tape that's about a 16th of an inch thick. So what I'm gonna do is apply that tape to the inside of this pipe. And as I do that, it's gonna reduce the inside diameter of the pipe and it's going to give it foam surface there that's going to compress and seal to the body of that gate. So let's go ahead and get this foam installed on the pipe. This is pretty easy. Just start running the foam around the inside of the pipe there. This doesn't have to be perfect. All I'm doing is running it around so that it's not uh, 
hanging out invisible. But what you want to do is give yourself, see if I can get this where you guys can actually see what I'm doing. You just want to give yourself plenty of uh, area there for this foam to make contact with the body of the gate. And I'm just running around, sticking this in place. And eventually I'm gonna come back around to where I started. We'll just trim it and we'll be done with this portion of it. And then we'll remeasure. So back over here, go ahead, trim that. And there we are. So now, if I put this gate back in place and I put this pipe down on there, I lift it up, the gate stayed in place. So we've got a nice solid seal there. Okay, so that phone ring was my wife calling. Uh, I had to take that, but let's get back to it. Okay, so we've got our gate installed. We've got pipe on the bottom side, pipe on the top side. Both of these pipes are sealed to the body of the gate with our foam tape. Um, on the back side, we have our flap here. This flap I did trim down from the last clip so that it doesn't hit this gate support that I've got mounted to the wall here. So that can open and close freely. So we'll go back to our anemometer. I've got it set for 0 0.087 square feet. I know I said cubic feet earlier, it's square feet. So let's go back to cubic feet a minute. We're gonna turn our dust collection on. And let's measure. So something as simple as some foam tape, some cardboard, and some HVAC tape is all it takes to seal up each gate on your dust collection system. So for $15 a gate, um, they're worth it. They're not going to clog. They're going to move smooth and reliably like they should. The, uh, the trick is, is you need to pay attention to the dimples that are on them. Make sure the dimples on the correct side. So when you close it, it forces the gate closed, not forcing it into an open situation. And uh, after that, it's pretty simple. So I just did this one gate as a demonstration for you guys. Now I need to go through and do the rest of the gates in the system. And uh, once I do that, we should be good to go. But again, remember we lost, uh, what was it? We were measuring 23 cubic feet a minute at this point prior to um, installing the foam tape and this little flap right here. So it's easy. Uh, in the time of this video, I think this took us a couple of minutes. This a minute or so. It didn't take long at all to put that tape on there. So for something that's so simple and you know you're looking at gosh three, six, nine, twelve 15 minutes on this system at each gate just to get it sealed up. And if you think about, we were losing 23, we'll call it 25, 25, um, 25 there. If we were running the table saw, we were losing 50 cubic feet a minute in dust collection capacity on the one tool. So for next to nothing in cost, we've improved the entire system. All right, so I hope you guys got something out of this. The key thing I wanted to do was just shoot video and show with measurements why I'm doing what I'm doing and what you're losing if you don't do something as simple as seal that connection between the pipe and the body of the gate. And then that little flap, which took two minutes to make, um, 
what that does as far as improving that massive 23 cubic feet a minute leak on the back side of each four inch gate. So if you have a, that gate open, you're losing that 23 cubic feet a minute in capacity at the tool. So hope you guys got something out of this. Um, thanks for watching.